Hello, today we're going to do some nice soothing exercises for when your body has been aching, everything feels a little bit rough and uh, the chair feels like the best place for you today. So we're going to start from the bottom of the body and work our way up. I find this kind of direction is quite uplifting. Um, but first of all, I want you to sit right on the edge of your chair. We need to get ourselves into a good posture to start with. So we're not slumping back into the chair. We're coming right to the edge. Coming right forwards to the edge. I feel like you're sitting on the slightly hard bit at the end um, of the chair. Feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart. Your shoulders should feel like they're um, directly above the hips and just have a little check down there that that's the case. Roll the shoulders a couple of times and drop tuck the chin and lengthen up through the back of the neck. Draw in through that lower tummy and just hold that good posture and take a few deep breaths in that posture. It just helps you to hold. Fantastic. So first of all, we're going to cross one leg over. If you can get hold of your foot, you are able to circle this foot around. Now you have to let go of the foot and the ankle to allow it to be circled around. Good. Good. Maintaining that nice, good posture. And just take note of how that feels. Cool. Take the big toe. You can push it down and pull it up. That stretches through it. Now, for those of us who are used to going out, walking regularly, running even, that kind of thing, then we're stuck in. Um, we're stuck, struck down with a virus, um, which is what's going on at the moment. You haven't got it out for a while. It's just quite nice to get these joints moving. And then if you take your heel, put your hand around your heel and just push up and down. That moves that heel joint around. Just make sure you're relaxed around the shoulders and the neck. Last thing we want is that tension. So that just moves that around. We're not going to do many of these because they can be a little bit tiring. At the same time, that knee is dropping down and you're just stretching around the hip. So bring that foot down. The other leg. Grab hold of the end of the foot and then those nice circles that we can do. Great. You've just got this hand around the ankle the other hand is circling around. Big toe, you get hold of the foot itself, the big toe up and down. Great. Should be nice stretches. Obviously, if you've got any problems with these joints, this could help, but if it's painful, don't do it. Good. Grab hold of the heel and just a little push up and down of the heel up tall, elbow on that knee if you want to, that stretches out a little bit there. If you can't get yourself into this position, don't worry, just skip. There's plenty more exercises in this workout. Good. Lovely, so both feet on the floor. Bring yourself up tall, deep breath, drop the shoulders. I want you to lift alternate heels. Just stretches through the feet, but make sure everything is pointing forwards. This is using those calves a little bit as well, which won't be getting much work as you're stuck, not able to go on walks particularly. Good. We can do a little bit of a hamstring stretch for down the back of the leg. This has been in, in my other um, video in this series, but it is nice and very important to be able to stretch up and down there. But I want you to point and flex at the foot. That's what's a little bit different with this one. Point and flex at the ankle there. It really mobilises and moves everything around, around that leg. I just see my foot's gone off the camera a little bit there, but no stress. Let's just, you can see me pointing and flexing. Come up in between, other leg out, come forward, feel that stretch around the back of the leg and just point and flex there. 
any of these exercises if they're painful, just be super careful. You don't have to do them, you can skip on to the next one. You can just stay still on that stretch if you like. Good. Both legs out. People get a bit squeamish about their kneecaps, but you can move your kneecaps from side to side there. Sometimes it's quite nice to, to do that. Push them in, push them out. Do one at a time if you want to. Wobble the kneecap from back to front. Push this one out if it makes you feel squeamish. <laughs> but it is good to get those things moving. Good. Excellent. Okay, so around the hips. We can take one leg out to the side and drop the knee in. That gives us a nice stretch around the hip as long as it isn't twisting your knee too much. Good, let's hold that stretch there. It's relatively nice to just open up. Just remember to keep yourself up nice and tall as you're doing this, tucking the chin, lengthening through the back of the neck. Bring the foot down so the other knee, foot needs to come out to the side and the knee drops in. Feel that stretch around the hip again, keeping yourself up tall. This is not one of the stills I'm going to take of the video, it's not a very attractive position <laughs> with that knee tucked in and drop down. See how I'm bouncing it very gently there? We don't advocate necessarily a bounce into a stretch, but a little pulse into the stretch there is just fine. Good. And to stretch the other way, if you bring the knees wide and put the elbows onto the knees, that just stretches the hips out the other way. And you can drop one shoulder down at a time. And again, don't worry if any of these positions are a little bit extreme for you. Just do it as far as you are able to do. Pushing the knees wide. Coming back to the pelvis now, we want to tuck the bottom under and arch the back the other way, so going through those movements. But I want you to think about the movement coming purely from the lower back. Lower back and pelvis. Tuck under and arch your back. Tuck. <laughs> rocking backwards and forwards. Good. The music going on in the background. And then can we lift one buttock and then the other? Just rolling from side to side. All of this could be done on a Swiss ball actually. A gym ball. Lifting one. This is quite nice because on the gym ball you can roll from side to side. Nice. Working all of those back muscles hip muscles to lift. I tend to slip into doing these things a little bit too fast so just take your time. Lift and down. Lift and down. Good. Okay. Cross your hands across your chest. You can rotate to the side and come back to the front again. Okay so we're moving up to that chest area. These are sort of not very satisfying, I find, these rotations with your arms here. So what we're going to do is move on to a slightly different one with the palms facing forwards. We're going to rotate backwards like so. Keep that lower tummy scooped in. getting tired, move back to the arms crossed across the chest. Lovely. And come bring them back down, just roll those shoulders a couple of times. Good. And stretch over to the side. Okay. And come back, these are quite difficult exercises to hold, so we'll do them nice and slowly and not hold for too long. 
try to go straight over to the side rather than forwards. So straight over to the side. One more each side. just around the shoulder blades. I want us to think about pulling the shoulder blades together, which is creating a big smile across the front of your chest here. So pulling the shoulder blades together, let's hold for five. And then relax. And then pull back and hold for five. little muscles between the shoulder blades. Don't overdo it. It's good, but it just helps to broaden around here and just activate the muscles in the back which help with your posture. Lovely. I can get you to sit on your left hand like this and right hand pulling the head over to the side. So you're stretching all the way through here. Let's hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sometimes it feels a little bit awkward coming back up out of that position. Sitting on the other hand, pulling over the other way. pause the video and repeat any of these stretches if you feel like you want to do them for a little bit longer. Hook the hands behind your head, breathe out, breathe in as you come back up and open the elbows, breathe out, rock the chin, okay. go and pull on the head each time. Breathe in, breathe out as you come down, pull on the head. We'll do three more of these and then we're done. Just want to do more. <laughs> but if you want to pause and do a few more, then do. Good, fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed that workout. It's made you feel just a little bit more stretched out and human again. Um, check out the other two in the series. Um, a little bit more of a focus on um, strengthening through the arms and then and, you know posture and, and other bits and pieces. Lots of breathing work as well. So stay healthy please click subscribe um, to subscribe to my channel. Um, there are plenty of other videos on there, every single level, um, lots of different workouts, but stretching is slow videos as well, and a little bit of rehab around knees and ankles, shoulders, um, lower back, things like that. Give me a like um, and write me a comment in the comment box about how you felt about the video. Um, so take care and bye.